بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما لمتنا وزدنا علما People keep talking about this word called the youth um, In English it's spelled as D-A-Y-O-U-T-H or D-A-Y-U-T-H In Arabic is Dal Ya with a shadda on uh, Wow and Tha The youth And it is an Arabic derived term for a person who is apathetic or permissive with regards to so-called unchaste behavior of his female relatives or spouses. Subhanallah, just looking, just searching this, the things that came up, yani, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaitan rajim, do not. And more specifically, the youth describes a man who lacks the demeanor, ghira, this protectiveness with regards to the female family members or his spouse. And now it's become like a kink, astaghfirullah wa atubu But, like for example, one of the characteristics is including or allowing a wife to support uh, or to do things like um, going outside, having non-mahram friends, chatting with people. One of the questions that came through was about chatting with non-mahram people. And there's many, many other things like not wearing hijab, putting makeup on, uh, doing these TikTok things where the girl is all like, you know, and the guy's showing. And so how many brothers are showing their wives on TikTok and Instagram right now to get followers? This is sad, but you know what I'm talking about. These so-called Muslim couples, the woman, you can see her body clearly. I've received so many videos from brothers and sisters saying, please comment. And I made the comment on a previous video where I've showed a few of these things, tried to block some things out. But it's like you can clearly see the female's beauty, her makeup, her body shape, what she's, she's supposedly wearing hijab. But subhanAllah, so sad. Imagine all these men looking at your wife. So this is what is the youth. You're, per, you're permissive in allowing your wife to show herself off to other men, putting the makeup, they look at her, they admire her, they even desire her. And it's not bothering you. That's the point. Because you are willing to sell your wife for followers on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and whatever it is. If we look at the hadith uh, in Mustad of Imam Ahmad, and it's narrated also in other, such as uh, Nisai and Mishkatul uh, Masabih and others. And this hadith says that three people will not enter paradise, Prophet said. And Allah will not look at them at the day of judgment. And the one who is disobedient to his parent, the woman who imitates men, and at the youth. At the youth, this is the person who permits women for whom he is responsible sister, mother, okay, wife and so on, to engage in this kind of behavior, okay? Or to display their beauty to strange men, or to stimulate their sexual desires, or to engage in illicit, illicit sexual relationships. Even just, you know, talking to men, or going and doing, and subhanAllah. Publicizing your wife on front. Oh, brother, you're calling brother so-and-so the youth? And brothers, sons of the youth, and this and that. I'm just saying what the Prophet ﷺ said. I'm just saying what the Arabs have discussed this issue. I'm just saying about the hadith. I'm just saying that historically this has held religious and legal and family implications and so on. Even amongst non Muslims, subhanAllah, Arabs. Okay? Because they had this protective jealousy of their women, which has disappeared today. So it can be on different extremes. It can go from like just permitting your wife to do whatever she wants, you putting her, her on Instagram and Twitter and whatever, Facebook and TikTok and displaying her beauty and men looking at her, men following her, men having, of course, imagine when you see your wife coming in in a beautiful form, are you not sexually attracted to her? So imagine other men as well. Imagine men who are not even married. I mean, use your brain a bit, my brother. Use your brain a bit, my brother. But that's what we're talking about. There's, there's no men these days. Very sad, very, very hard to find a man today. He might look like six feet, two, whatever, big muscles and this and that. 
But man, he's not a man. He's just a bunch of meat. Sadly. And people are, oh, brother, are you insulting them again? I'm not insulting. Did I say their name? SubhanAllah, people are so reactive when you're talking about these things. But they're not reactive to allow, for the guy to allow his wife to shake herself in front of other men, to dance on some music, and to say that this is my modesty, modest hijab, modest muslima, modest attire, modest this, modest makeup, modest, you know, tutorials. What are you talking about? Have we fallen upside down on our heads? And then I get attacked for being harsh. Harsh on what, man? Because I'm not the youth. That's why I care about... SubhanAllah, the ghira extends from your own daughters and family, and I take care, alhamdulillah, of many women, to your sisters, man, in the community and the ummah. They're still your sisters, bro. They're my sisters. You're not jealous when you see these things? Doesn't hurt you? Man, then well, welcome to the, go to the, you know, you're welcome to the, the youth club. SubhanAllah. It's not attacking this brother or that brother, man. It's about the issue. Where is the ghira? Where is the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ? You don't care because you're going to get some followers and your wife is actually the boss steering the ship and you cannot do anything. You cannot, you know. SubhanAllah, I saw the sisters like, yeah, you sister, you should love your husband. You should always let him speak. And then he's trying to speak. Right? And everyone's laughing. Ha, ha, ha. What a cute, fun, what a funny thing or wiping his face, or this or that, and followers, one million followers, this and that, you are selling, they're selling their deen for a miserable price, for a small price. Oh brother Jibreel, you're extremist. I'm extremist. Refute the hadith of the Prophet Refute the concept of the youth. Refute it. You cannot, because you're following your desires. And the woman is leading the household. That's where you see where the man is not in charge anymore because he lost his ghira because his wife grabbed him and smashed him and said, hey, I'm going to do these videos. You cannot do anything about it. And no, 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 wait, wait. You're going to come behind me and support me in these videos and allow me to be what I want to be. And you're going to be the youth with me in this video. Where the men are going to look at me and say, oh, I wish I would have her. Oh my God, look at her. Oh, uh, this and that. Man, do you know how many people are complaining? And bro, you don't like your your uncomfortable with the way I'm talking. This is the reality. You think the brothers are gonna see? Mashallah, she's so modest. Mashallah. Let's let's lower our gaze. Look at the followers. Look at the people. Look at what they're saying. And look at who they're entertaining. Let's be at least realistic. Stop acting like you're this perfect. You know, yani Muslims. Everyone's like perfect. Stuff for Allah, brother. Yaqi, let's deal with real situations. The Prophet said, why do you think he left this hadith? How are you going to know what's a dayyoth and what's a ghira if you don't talk about these things? You don't understand. <clears throat> this is the problem of our ummah. And it starts, ah, yeah. Brother's going to say, oh, you're anti-red pill. Oh, you're now giving to the women. I'm giving to the women, man. Pfft. Yeah, tell it to the other women who are flooding my inbox. You know, calling me out. Yaqi, it's us men. We have been left in charge. We are the imams. If you can be a man and be erect, okay, then take care of your responsibility and take care of your women. No, I'm not going to let you go outside like this. No, I'm not going to let you be on Instagram and Twitter and this and that and TikTok and dancing and because you have a million followers. I don't care about a million followers. I'm not going to sell my wife. You, do you love your wife? Because I don't think you love your wife or your sisters or your mother. Because some of them, their mother, man, I get some questions from brothers about their mothers mixing and this and that because their father is not able to do anything. And the brother, mashallah, has got some ghira and is in the deen. And he says, I don't know what to do with my mom. What can she do? One guy said his mom was kissing another man on the thing. He says, I was going to go psycho. Is it, is it normal, brother? I say, yeah, of course, normal because you have ghira for your mom. Your dad's not seeing it. Your dad doesn't care that when she meets strange men, she kisses him on the cheek. Ah, oh, marhaban. Kifak, mlih, alhamdulillah, and kissing each other, and no problem. And the husband sits there, <laughs> and maybe he's kissing the wife of the guy. What has happened, man? So this is what the youth is. This is what the youth is. This is what this weak man has no ghira, no protective jealousy for his wife, for his mother, for his sisters. Where? It's gone. 
people are, are willing to sell it. But we as men have to take this back. This, is, this will solve so many problems. And yes, it is our fault here in this issue. Yes, of course, women will fight it. They will stay against it. There is feminism who has been empowering. And there's so many things we can blame. And we have. But in this episode, I'm talking about us. Because the word is the youth. And it pertains not to the women who are doing this, but to the men who permits it. And it's gone from this kind of TikTok type of stuff to worse things to a'udhu billah, a man enjoying to see his wife being pleased by someone else. Okay, it's leading to that. And that's one of the definitions, by the way. He doesn't mind that she might be doing this. And yes, it's happening. Yes, it's happening. It's become a kink now. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, brothers and sisters, so we understand, so we never become like But the, to the men of this ummah, I'm not an extremist, but I'm extreme when it comes to the deen and try and hold on to it because I myself know that we can slip. Everyone has a problem. People say, you think you're perfect? I don't think I'm perfect. Far from it. But we need to educate on these issues, brothers and sisters. We need to understand what these problems are. And the first thing we need to deal with we need to advise our brothers and sisters who are doing these videos, just doing these things and, and destroying their wives and their sisters and those who they're responsible for. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to regain our ghira and that men, we men, the imams, take our job seriously and we get back to the fitra of the real men of this ummah based on Quran and Sunnah. I apologize, I was a bit hot on this. But it's such a tough thing because I have daughters, I have females in my family that I love and I take care of. And this is something I hope you do as well. And that you feel the same because that's why, how it manifests. It's not like, well, let's talk about it. No. Rira is like you feel sad, you feel hard about it. May Allah protect us and protect the women of this ummah. And that the men wake up to protect them because it's in the end, first and foremost, our responsibility. It's not only our fault of what's happening, but it's first and foremost our responsibility as men. If men are men, we'll take care of this inshallah because Allah has given us this responsibility. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.